Okay. I'm making the second video because the first video I did where I did the chain on this bike, my leg is messed up. So now the first video I did, I tightened up the chain. I put the chain on. I put the link in. I don't know why, but it flew off. It actually, wow, it actually twisted the chain a little bit. I hope I can get that back in the right spot. I should almost have bought two links, but I'm going to see what happens with this. That chain doesn't look happy right there. <laughs> you know what? This video could end could end very quickly. Let me just get a plier and see if that looks like that chain is... <laughs> I didn't expect to see that. It got a little twist in the end of the chain. And I don't exactly know what caused it. I guess the link slipped out. It's possible that maybe I didn't put it in properly. But you see, look at that twist. I don't know if this is salvageable, or if not, uh, looks like it is, okay. Straightened out good. All right, so I think, we're, I think we're okay. And the other end looks good. So, let me make sure we're still on camera. So with this Mini Moto 80, I put the chain on, and I drove it, and it felt good. But very quickly, that chain came off. So I said, oh my God, let's find a better way to take the whole thing apart. And I got a number 10. And the first thing we want to do, if you can see this, this is, this is uh, the tensioner for the chain. So that's got, I kind of like to take that out of the way. That's a 13 millimeter. I put my hand around the back and there's the other side of this wheel, you'll feel it. You put that on there and you loosen it. So, let's do that as so. so. Take that right out completely. Save, there's a spacer in there and a lock washer. See, lock washer, spacer, put that right down. On this side, there's a ring, like a real big spacer ring. And that goes on the inside along with that. And just leave that bolt there. Now, we're gonna use a screwdriver. We take out this screw right here. And you know, I don't know what made it come off. You know, I'm almost thinking I should start up the bike and see what's rocking. You know, I don't know what made it come off so quickly. You know, I got this from a person thinking I was getting a deal. And he said, ah, the chain broke. Yeah, well, now that I replaced the chain, I see that it's a little bit more than, than the link coming off. There's a reason that the link came off. So there was a bolt back here, a screw back here, I mean Phillips. So there's three Phillips. Let me get them off. Three Phillips. And that same number 10, there's two of them on the bottom, kind of near where my hand is now, holding that into the motor. Put the three Phillips down there. They're all the same. There's also a Phillips you could loosen on the fender if you want to try to help get that out of your way. And this should come apart at that point. Now, you could work this out of here with, with, with that piece missing. Let's get this front one off first. All right, so... There's a number 10 here, and that one's that was easy, if I didn't drop the wrench. And like I said, people, I am not a mechanic. I'm just a guy who's just trying to do a few things on my own, save a little money here and there, or just at least feel good about accomplishing something, you know, as small as it might be. I like to do stuff, you know, on my own, and, and I find myself looking at YouTube videos, uh, just as you guys are doing now. So, I'm hoping that this just helps somebody, you know, trying to get this done. So, don't, don't hate on me if you see me do something a little, you know, not 100%. Let me know about it. I, I try to read every comment, you know, when I get a chance, when I see it, or if my phone alerts me about it. But life gets in the way. I live in New York, and the hustle and bustle in New York is insane. So, there's the bolt that comes out of the top one. And there's two just like that on the bottom. Also number 10. Just quickly put this in there. I love these little impact drivers. I love the Milwaukee stuff, boy. Okay, and I take that out. I don't want to lose the screw. Again, these are the same. Okay, so I got that piece off. You know, I can see this. This does have a little bit of wiggle to it. 
I don't know if this should be tighter. I don't know if it's supposed to. There is a little bit of wiggle in there. I mean, I, I don't really know if that's what it's supposed to do. Then let's pull this thing out if I can. I did it before I got it out without taking the fender off. All right, so now we got to everything. Now, I'm gonna place the chain around the wheel. Let's see how we do here. You know, I wonder, you know, if some one of you guys could comment whether this is supposed to have a little bit of play or if that's supposed to be real solid. You know, I don't know, you know, is that the, let me see. It's not really changing the t tension of it, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play with that. All right, then we, we put the chain in. Now in my last video, you notice I put this chain on and it was really just kind of like a little whacked out. So what I did was, it was too loose, I mean, is what I'm saying. So what I did was I tried to tighten it with the tensioner as much as I could. And no, that was, that was no good. It, it wasn't happening, you know. So then what I did was I loosened the tensioner again, and then I did it by adjusting the motor. Now I also noticed there's like almost like two sets of gears on there. I wonder if this is what's causing the problem. I don't know what made it wiggle off. But now let's put this on. And you know, I'm hoping that I just kind of put this, this, this number 35, I'm hoping that I put this chain link on wrong, which is maybe I just didn't snap it in. I kind of clicked it on with a screwdriver. Maybe you're supposed to grab it with a plier and really force it in. I also made it so that the link would get pushed on in the forward direction. You know, so when it, the chain is going forward, it would push the link into the more locking position. I wonder if that was backwards. I mean, to me, that's what made sense. You know, if the chain is, if the motor pulls it, you want it to push the link into the arm position. So here we go. Putting the link through there. If it, if it goes, it may not because whatever messed up last time, I quite fit on that side. Let's see if we fit on this side. And we do. And it looks nice, okay. Then we put the link piece in there. Okay, now, the chain is going this way, so I'm making it, so the chain comes around that way, so it's gonna push it in instead of popping it out. So we put it there, and it's possible. You know, maybe when I snapped it on, maybe, maybe, See, to me, I don't know, it looks like it's, it clicked in, it clicked tight. That's it, that's all the way. That link looks on there. I'm making a video, Jared, so I'm doing a YouTube video. All right, so the chain link is on. <clears throat> now, if, if before I put that wheel on, we better put this back in place or else I might not be able to fit it. The tensioner wheel, just remember that thing gets, that kind of gets in the way. Okay, I'll come down in a minute. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this back. Why is that barking up on me? So, you know what's interesting? This, uh, I wonder if there's something I'm not seeing on this, but, okay. And you know what's interesting? This thing is like jamming. It's getting jammy right here. There we go. Okay, fit back. Now, we put this wheel in. You know, what if I should put it this way? I don't really know. Before it was in this direction. And I wonder if that guy could have put that backwards. Let me see. Because that has a pull right there. You know what? No. 
it is supposed to be this way because that plastic thing fits over it. So the chain goes on the top of this. That's how that whole thing works. Got to put this spacer, a little spacer. Got to put that on this. So that holds the wheel. It goes with this little indent piece right here. That goes toward the outside because that's what makes room for this to fit in there. I just realized that now. I wasn't sure. Now this chain is really, really kind of tight. So I think I'm going to loosen that a little bit instead of killing it. I could, I could actually snug this up a little bit even though it's loose. But as you tighten this, this thing really quickly gets much tighter. I'm not going to make it as tight as it was because I think it was just a little too tight. I want to keep it a little bit loose. Maybe it won't rip the chain up as much. All right, now... The way we tighten it, see, it was pretty easy to do. But I'm doing what I said I wasn't going to do. I should have really given this thing a little test to see if, if something's rocking on it. And I did it in reverse, of course. Lovely. Let me put it back in. Okay. All right, now. It's amazing how it's it right in. Okay. Oh, that's that's too. Uh, it's actually not. They say you should have about. Let's loosen up some more. I don't like it that tight. Let's give it a little bit more. We're gonna loosen that drop out a bit. Okay. Let's drop out more. Now, let's tighten it. See, that's not too, that should not be too tight. That's pretty much how it should be. Although this bike doesn't have suspension, so you don't have to really allow for that kind of thing, but let's make it a little bit looser. It's kind of surprising me how. See, that, that's, that's, that's a little too loose, but it's not going to stay that way. Okay, now, uh, maybe I went too tight on the motor side, you know, when I did it. See, I wonder if I should, I may have to loosen up the motor side a little bit. I mean, it's, it's kind of tight, you know, and that, that might be what's causing the, the damage, that's, that's a little on the tight side. Yeah, I don't know why it's... Let's try that one more time. It shouldn't be... It's moving... It's pulling it in as I... I can see that it actually... I don't know why it doesn't... When you push it back... It should be loosening, but it's it's actually not. I might have made the motorcycle too tight, you know, when I did my adjustment. Like I said, not a mechanic. That's funny. I think maybe it's just a little bit too tight. That's not too bad. I mean, you can see motion on it. It's not like I'm killing it, but it's t it's tight. It's tight. I could let the motor come back a little, little bit, you know, and that would, that would uh, take some out of it. So you can see the play on it. It's not terrible. I don't know. All right. Although the motor one, I can move back anytime now. Oh, I'm leaving this one. All right. Now. Okay, then we got to put this piece back on. See, it's, it's not killer tight, but it's tight. I don't know. All right. Let me slide this one over. Okay. Then we 
put the three bolts in loosely. I like that, the one with the blue Teflon on the bottom, I like that one in case the oil's down there, but there's no oil down there. At least there should be. All right. This is the only one that you really have to do kind of by hand, and then you got to tighten it with your wrench. I just kind of bring them all snug, and then... position. Let's see if I can get this one caught. Okay. Now I'm leaving them loose still because I want to adjust this end just to make sure. That, now this snaps in place first. You actually snap this one in. See that one clicks in? So I figured let's put it together and then once all these screws are in place, then I could, uh, I'll do my final tightening in case there's any adjustments that, that are left. So. Oh, I'm up a little too high on that. Uh, so it's not so bad. Like I said, I'm not a mechanic. I mean, I'm able to do it, but it is only a chain thing. Not a big deal. And that should be, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And then this over here. But I hope it's not another issue that's causing this chain to pop down like that. taking his turn going in, let's see why he's not, why he doesn't want to go home. There we go. He's going home now. I think, yep. Okay. Tighten them all up. Let's final tightening. Okay, then I gotta tighten up this guy. I just hope that we're good. So you got to see what it what it was like to do the uh, that was complete putting on a broken chain. So it does seem like it's still a little bit tight. I don't know what made it come loose. I actually what I think happened was the rear tire was very, very low and I didn't notice it. And I think, because I heard it go against the ground, and I think I actually bopped it against the ground. Whether that would make your chain come off, but you could see, I could see it's only an inch off the ground now. And I think that's what caused it. That's it. Complete, start to finish. So, number 35 what it was and I do think that that's what what actually caused it that that chain is, is about an inch off the ground my leg is messed up so it's hard for me to get up but that chain is an inch off the ground and I think I did hear it go bump when I tried it see how close that is to the ground look at that that's crazy and the tire was almost flat so I think maybe it just waddled onto the ground a minute and made it break off. Hopefully it'll be okay. And hopefully I help somebody out with that. Take care.